Hey everyone, it's Chubb. Today, I'm playing the Black Ops 6 beta. Why? Because I can. Listen, I've got early access to this game because I use Xbox Game Pass to play other games and the beta is available on that and so will Black Ops 6, so I don't even have to pay for the game. If I like it, I like it. If I don't, I don't. I'm gonna hop in. <sighs> Let's-a go. This is the main menu music? Oh, yep, this game is completely different. Hold on, that to me sounded so much like like Black Ops 1's menu music. Holy crap. This is totally something from Black Ops 1. Totally. The only thing I can play right now is multiplayer, because zombies and single player, those aren't part of the beta. This looks pretty much like the one from the COD HQ. I've been playing a little bit of MW3 because that's also been a part of Game Pass. I want to edit my profile real quick. So calling card. Honestly, this Fractured Hope, that's fire. I'm, I'm, equip I'm equipping that. And the emblems, what do we have? Venomous with the snake or the rocket you know what i recently played through all of infinite warfare's campaign and i thought it was a 10 out of 10 so beautiful ethan i love you i'm doing the rocket emotes and sprays ayo wait these are a thing oh no way no way dude they brought these back from bo4 <laughs> that's okay that's a little crazy i love how slow they are too that's the best part b-boy bro thinks he's him yeah no weapon inspect all right so that's a part of the emote wheel. Neat. Bro points at you and then, yeah, okay. Total Wakandan vibes right there. And then shush. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm equipping that. I'm equipping this. I think it's already equipped. That's hilarious. Where is the HUD customization? Ah, right here. All right, HUD presets. Let's take a look at these. This is something that I'm really excited about in this game is that I don't have to have this bog standard classic COD HUD. I can go inverted, that's weird. Classic, almost the same as standard, except your uh, field upgrade and equipment are in the center of your screen, kind of like a uh, BO4. I kind of like that. What's mission interface? Okay, this is basically like MW-ified. So the mini map in the top is square. That's pretty much the only change. <laughs> what is scout? Oh, this is weird. Oh, weird. So your objective stuff is at the bottom and then your mini map, it's all at the bottom. Okay, that's kind of interesting. I, I might actually like that. Target tracker, this one's weird. So your map is in the bottom middle. Your health is in the top left. This is kind of like Minecraft Pocket Edition looking ass. Uh, huh, <laughs> okay. Central command, this is even weirder. Whoa, okay. That might actually be sick though. That's gonna be kind of like uh, in like Apex and IW and just futuristic games. You know the ammo is like on your gun. That's what that's gonna feel like, I think. Then magnified. That's for blind people. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was that was really ableist to me. Okay, so it looks like those are just like preset layouts. You can't actually move this yourself. That's fine because if you could, you can make the ugliest things imaginable. I think I'm gonna stick to standard for now, and we're gonna see what happens after that. Station two, 180 degree combat dive drill. Sprint toward the designated area. Dive from the building's ledge in midair, rotate 180 degrees, and then, yeah. Okay, that sounds fun. So where is my enemy? I'd assume they are down here, right? Oh, sh- <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, all right. So I'm sprinting and then boop. Wow, all right, I might as well aim. That would definitely help. Thanks, Woods. That was awful. That was so bad. I. That was the easy part. Oh no. Already, I'm enjoying what I'm playing. Guy up there. Yep, you're gone. You're gone. There's one more. All right. This is so crazy. But it feels really good. Quickly sprint toward the door. Evade enemy gunfire by diving or sliding through the door. This is gonna be dope as hell. All right, here we go. That was so cool. <laughs> and that's it. Sweet. Skyline hardpoint. Oh, you know what? This is great. This is the map from COD Next that I like really wanted to play the most. Every time I see pictures of this map, I'm like, yeah, I got to play this. Look at the loadout screen. I'm, it scrolls downward and set it to the side. I can see everything in one little thing here. I got to go Jackal PDW. I think that's just the way it's got to go. It's an SMG class, but I'm doing it. Did you see that guy? The movement feels clean. Oh! What did not feel clean was that lag spike. Oh, that's got to be from loading a shit on the textures at once. All right, how'd this guy do? Bro's aim is atrocious. Oh my God. Is anybody playing the objective? Hey, guess what? Other team, you're losing now. Ooh. 
That's an elimination. Sick. All right, what's this? What do I have? Scout pulse. Activated. Scout pulse. Cool. Whoa! There's a little timer on the score trick to show you how much longer it's going to be active. That's that's kind of sick. Yo! The dive into the swimming pool. I got to get a kill with that. That's crazy. Who's killing me? Dude, I immediately went into like, let's hide from the people. Uh, I can't do that here. Yeet! Oh, that's so sick. Get out of here, man. Who's killing me? Oh, they, I got attacked by three people. Yeah, it was over. I just need to get better at the movement. Oh, that was really sick. Dude, there's so many people. Holy sh I'm not doing so hot. <laughs> not gonna lie, but I'm having fun. And that's something I can't say I've had in a lot of the recent cuts. He wants to die. You and you. Oh. <laughs> Dude, did we both dive into each other there? Action shot. That's that's got to be what that means, right? Yo, look at that. That was so cool. Yeah, the slides and the dives. Very, very effective. So long as you can aim. Oh, there's no way. Somebody stole my kill. That's so sick. It's so sick and it feels so good, too. Out of here, man. Scout pulse. Oh, I lagged. Oh, I'm lagging. Oh, what just happened? Did I just crash the game? Oh, that's a bug. I found a bug. <laughs> Do not activate a scout pulse and then go under the water. You will crash. I crashed on my first ever multiplayer game of BO6. Whoa. This music, it's already killer. It's already goaded. So it looks like my progress did save even though the match crashed. That's good. I missed these map overviews. Let's go with the recon class this time. Eh, maybe. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Idiot. <laughs> that was so cool. That was sick. I agree. That was too f close. Oh, what wall hacks? Oh, that must be my uh, yeah, I like my perk specialist ability. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> that feels a little cheap. Enforcer class. It has the enforcer special. Okay. I want to just see how that feels. I also was not a fan of that scope on the aims. The fire rate was okay. Oh yeah. Oh. So the enforcer specialty. Every time that you get a kill get just like general speed benefits so it's like a little bit of cranked i will say this game looks pretty dang good definitely evokes black ops feels i was a little scared with this being like the same engine that it might not feel like a black ops it totally feels like a black ops you, you can tell this is treyarch's designs hey buddy <laughs> that's so sick Oh, dude, the new medals look so good, too. Apparently, Treyarch added, like, 150 medals to this game. That's a lot of medals. And I, I can tell why, because the Omni movement just so much, has so much more customization to how you play the game. There's so much more versatility. He's going to... I was going to say he's going to die by the barrel, but so did I. That's actually a good scoreboard. It's almost like Treyarch is the only developer that actually cares about their game. This movement is so good. It feels so good. Sprinting sideways. I'm getting used to it. Oh! Dude, the, the blast canisters are crazy. Come on, team. We got to lock in. I mean, we don't really have to. We're like over 100 points ahead. It would be nice to just secure the win. That was in RCX. Boom! Got him. And I'm level three. I see you. It doesn't matter, we won. <laughs> There's just a level of polish to this game that was not present in Modern Warfare 3. And honestly, this feels more polished than MW19 at launch. And after launch, that game just was not it, man. So far, what this game is reminding me of is like a Cold War with a bit more innovation to it and without all the bad stuff. So we've got prestige mode coming at launch with like 10 prestiges. Yo, wait, I was top of the scoreboard? Oh, hell yeah. Wait, I can emote. Hold on, hold on. I can emote? Do the shh. <laughs> That's 
phenomenal. That's... Yes, yes. Everything about those two matches was just perfection. Oh, look, it shows my accolades at the bottom. This is so clean. It's all just so clean. And I got an attachment for my XM4. Yeah, I went 23 and 17. Not bad for my first full game. No, 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 I forgot to map vote. Everybody's voting Derelict. Hell yeah. So it seems like everybody's solo queue. I got Bubby on my team, level one. I think the highest level person in the lobby is on my team too. So, I mean... Honestly, pretty good chance of winning, because he's probably very accustomed to Omni movement by this point. I want to go with a different class. Yeah, let's try sniping. All right, fine. No. Even the inspects are clean. All right, let's get a kill. How does the sniping feel? Oh! Oh my god! Oh, it feels crispy! Boop! Oh, shoot. Oh, getting like a freaking dive into a no scope, that's gotta go hard. I, I was trying to do it there. I'm, I'm still kind of clunky with the Omni movement, not gonna lie. <laughs> Wouldn't that have been sick though? That feels so good. The metal sounds, the hit marker sound, the kill effect, everything. Oh my god! I'm not the type to glaze Call of Duty. You know this. I. I can shoot on Vanguard, MW2, MW3 all day. This is good. This is actually good. Boy, am I glad I have Game Pass. <laughs> this feels so clean. <laughs> I'm also very glad that they updated the ragdolls. That was so funny. Brother, I flew like a Looney Tunes character. Hey, buddy. Oh! Dude, imagine! Imagine if I got the double quick scope. What was that? Was that a baby? Dude, the sniping feels clean as hell. It's slow though. It's definitely slow. It's not like OG MW2 speeds or anything like that. It's like Cold War. Sweet, buddy. Imagine! I haven't gotten a clean double kill yet. I mean, there was that one I got earlier, but like not one using the Omni movement. Dude, the sniping. Did they change the net code around a little bit or something? Because I swear I'm not getting nearly as many, like, internet issues. I'm so glad they have stage reloads, though. Dude, imagine if I got the collat. Imagine! So I kind of get the flow of this map. I'm a little confused about the spawns, though. Oh, that was pretty dope. Not exactly what I was looking for, but that was pr that was pretty good. And that's a victory. Okay, where did I get on the scoreboard? Fifth! Eh. Hey, you know what? I had a 1KD. For for my first time sniping in this game, getting a 1KD, that's not awful. That's not terrible. Gotta say, this game does look clean as hell, though. At least I can make a custom class now. Oh, right, there's a dedicated melee slot. I forgot about that. Check this out. The quick draw grip. All it does is improve ADS. There's no downsides! They made the gunsmith system good! So basically, they took the attachment system of BO2 and like other Pick 10 games where they're basically strictly benefits, and now they've applied that to the gunsmith attachments. So they're actually kind of useful now. Because now what attachments you use, it's way more determinate on your play style rather than just meta. Because like in the other games, you'd have like three suppressors that do basically the same thing, except one gives you slightly less downside, so you're gonna pick that one. Well now, there's less attachments than before. So they're a lot more uh, centralized in their use. I also really enjoy that the capture points are triangles and they rotate depending on who's who. That's great for colorblindness and also just Hey buddy. Imagine if I meleeed his ass. Where the hell did he go? What? That, okay, I gotta see what this looks like. He goes under the water and he comes up, spread eagle and gets my ass. Who is it? It's you! Get the hell out of here, man. I have a dedicated melee. How do I get to it? I have no idea how to get to the dedicated melee. No freaking idea. The sprinting. The sprinting feels so good. It feels so good. Also, the corner peeking without actually mounting. <laughs> that was such a dumbass thing that I did. I want to see what this looks like from his perspective. <laughs> Brother, I look like a little weasel. 
Do I have to like melee and swap? Ah! So if you hold your melee button, that's how you get to your melee. Interesting. You're dead, buddy. I see you. Oh! That was so sick! That was so sick! I don't feel like I'm amazing at this game, but I'm so glad that there's movement because that means there's a skill gap. Which means I can actually improve at this game. And it feels great too. It doesn't feel like clunky like MW3's movement. I want to hit a clip. That was pretty sick. Securing Alright, let's fully secure Alpha. <laughs> How the hell did this look from his perspective? I gotta see this shit. <laughs> Dude, the voice line he just said was so perfect there. I dive at him like a cat trying to scratch somebody and bro says, get your head out your ass. <laughs> so sick. It feels so good to do a dive into a shoot. Let's just see how the knife feels. Why not? Oh, oh, that's a double kill with the knife. It is actually crazy how polished this game feels compared to any of the recent CODs. Like this is by far, even in the beta, the most feature complete game. Like we, we're gonna have eight maps by the end of this thing. And it's a beta. I'm pretty sure Cold War launched with eight maps. Launched with eight maps. I'm gonna get this orange here. Buddy. Oh, can I get any more than four kills in a life? That's the question. Yo, bloodthirsty. Oh, I'll take it. A five kill streak, not bad. Especially for this being like my fourth match. Bro got the easiest headshot of his life. I gotta see this shit. Yeah. Killed with a stim shot, huh? Okay, hold on. What the hell does that mean? How in the hell do you kill with a stim shot? Oh, that's what it means. Okay, I have no idea what that gun is, though. I don't know, that was kind of a whatever best play, not gonna lie. I haven't seen something absolutely crazy yet. Speaking of absolutely crazy, that was a wild emote. <laughs> Dude, brother pulled out the threat level midnight finger gun. <gasps> There's no way we can actually remake that in this. Wait! That's actually kind of sick. Y you know what I'm talking about, right? Like, The Office, threat level midnight. Okay, out of Derelict and Scud, I feel like Derelict... Is more colorful, so I gotta pick it. Scud is just kind of dreary, but none of the maps are bad. I, I don't think any of these three maps are terrible by any means. I just unlocked the AK-74. I might as well just use it. I don't think it's leveled up any. I just want to see how it feels. Yeah, all right. Yeah, the, the weapon detail seems quite, quite good. I'm so glad that the tax sprint doesn't block your entire view now. This map definitely feels a little bit larger than Skyline, but still nowhere near as big as some of the maps. Like. Ass hair cave. All right, well, the AK feels good. I'll tell you that right now. Feels pretty damn good. Oh my goodness, yep. See, I am a fan of weapons that do a lot of damage per bullet, so. I gotta try out the dolphin dive. Yep. That was beautiful, if only I slid. I'm really not feeling a lot of delay with these slides or these dives either, so clearly movement is the way that Treyarch wants this game to be played. And I am a fan of that. Hey, you people that don't like movement, go play an older cause. You want new stuff, and this new stuff feels pretty damn good. Bush did order 66, are you serious? <laughs> I mean, jump shots could definitely be useful in circumstances like that. They're definitely a little more tactical than, like, a bunny hop, though. Yeah! Did you see that? My, uh, my gun was kind of bouncing all over the place while I was jumping. We are cooking this match. Absolutely. Freaking little Imagine if that goes. I'm also glad that the double hit marker came back for headshots. That is very useful because in this game, there's only two body multipliers. There's the body multiplier and there's the headshot multiplier. That's actually made the gunfights feel very good. Just the damage ranges before were just like so, you know, so particular, so niche, that it would make gunfights feel inconsistent because randomly you're shooting somebody in the body but it's taking like two more bullets to kill. Just with regular guns, that doesn't make much sense. So going back to body shot, headshot only, 
was a genius for a bunch of experts. Honestly, these gunfights are feeling very good. That was so clean. Oh, 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 hello. Oh. I should have switched to my melee. There's just so much happening on these maps. I'm really enjoying the size difference because honestly, some of the maps in MW3, they're, they're just too much. Oh, double kill. Capture that. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah! Yo, did you notice that when I got the double kill, there was a little line connecting my kills in the kill feed? Damn, I love this game. <laughs> it's so cool. Triple kill? Bro's gonna hit the quad? Damn, okay, respect. Yo, top of the scoreboard, let's go! Hit him with the... <laughs> That's so silly. I want to try out the C9 because this gun is basically the MP5 and I love myself an MP5 in a COD game. What do we have in score streaks? I have the RC unlocked. I gotta, I gotta pick that up. How does this look though? So here's the thing. I typically wouldn't be contemplating the vault edition or like any special edition of game, but I'm on Game Pass. I get the game for free through the service. And I gotta be honest, that Sniper Mastercraft was looking pretty sexy. Right, what in the world does this weapon inspect look like, first of all? Oh, that was ice. Oh, this is so sick. Yo! Treyarch nails it when it comes to cosmetics. Every single time. Imagine! So is that like my catchphrase now when I don't get a kill is imagine? Oh, brother, I just got your clone. <laughs> Thanks for the double kill medal. Let's go. Dude, the C9 feels clean. Honestly, that name doesn't feel that bad. MP5 would of course be preferred, but at least this is better than like Lockman Sub. Like... God, Infinity Ward is terrible at naming their guns. Just, I feel like IW, they're great at some things. For instance, the Infinite Warfare story was phenomenal. But I figure most of that team isn't on IW anymore. You can sprint while reloading. Sick. And I think that is just due to me having a gun hoper. Imagine if I actually got a kill off with that. That was awful. Also, I just realized I have a health bar. It only shows up if you're not at full health, which is fine, because why would you need to see it if you have full health? This game is clean. This game is so clean. Get the hell out of here. Give me that jackal. What is the inspect like on this gun, by the way? Hold up. Whoa, that was pretty sick. I'd love to use the RCXD. I don't know if I'm going to though. Uh, you know what? Nobody knows I'm here. Might as well. Sick, sick. All right, I'm already understanding the controls. I just fell off the <laughs> The Jackal feels pretty damn good. This kind of reminds me of the, uh, the Milano from Cold War. What are you doing? I was just standing around. Hold on, hold on. Get the f out of here, man! Oh! Got the focus. Right, don't die. Whoa! Oh my god! Yo! Dude, I was going crazy! I got an RCXD after that. It was too damn good. <laughs> That's what she said. Holy sh! Victory! All right, I gotta see this play of the game. Show me the goods. Show me the goods. Was it me? It was me. Let's go! Yo, dude, that execution. Mm. 
there's this guy. Bye bye. You, oh. Yeah. God, that was clean. What a play on my part. You know what I gotta do? I gotta hit him with the. <laughs> so so. Yeah, he did it too. <laughs> Alright, I think I want to play one more match, and then I'm probably going to have to call it quits for now. Of course I'm going to be playing more of this, but I gotta edit this! I gotta, I gotta have people see this! The music is so damn good. I figured that the beta would be pretty okay, because I know that Treyarch knows what they're doing. I'm honestly shocked with how much fun I'm having. This might actually be the most fun I've ever had in a god game, to be honest. Not that the old ones are bad. The old ones were fantastic. This is just equally fantastic. <laughs> It's good gameplay! The graphics are great. The music is fire. I mean, this has basically everything I want in a COD game. So a lot of these attachments are gonna help with stability whenever firing. So let's see if the, the jump shotting is a little better. It's still really bouncy. That's fine. That's fine by me. Like, it's not impossible to get a jump shot kill or anything. The gunsmith system being simplified is actually so freaking nice. It's great just being able to like look at what an attachment does at a pretty quick glance and be confident that you're gonna put it on your weapon. And I really think whenever I level this up, I'm gonna have a much more fun time customizing my gun because I'm not just gonna go for like, back in like MW19, I would always go with like the stippled grip tape and stuff because it was just objectively the best. Now I'm actually gonna have a choice to make, right? Like, do I want to have less flinch? Do I want to have less recoil? Do I want to have a faster sprint to fire, right? And I actually can make those choices because there aren't any downsides to any of the attachments. So I don't have to, like, compensate one attachment's mistakes for another one. I could just have them and they work like legit attachments. Like, they make your gun better. I gotta say, this is by far, besides, like, that one crash that happened, the best beta experience I've had in a Call of Duty ever. I played MW's beta, I played Cold War's beta, I played MW2's beta, I played MW3's beta. This is better than the MW3 one. Dude, what the hell just happened to my body? I gotta see this. <laughs> the Randalls! Combinatorial? I gotta look up what some of these medals are. There's so many new ones. Having Woods as the announcer is such a great move. Because some of those announcers get real boring, especially with the newer CODs, they are just so boring to listen to. At least Woods has, like, distinct dialogue and flavor to how he speaks. I, I honestly am so shocked that Treyarch made such a good game. Dude, what the hell was my guy doing?! Bro was having the time of his life in the sand. Oh, God. I feel like I gotta hit somebody with a rocket. I'm scratching that itch. Let's see this puppy in action. First of all, what's the inspect? That's about what I expected, to be honest. Hey, buddy. Oh! Yep, that's about what I expected. <laughs> He's gotta be mad at that, right? He's gotta be so mad at that. Oh, and now I'm gonna RC car is that. Yeah. They, they cannot be happy with me right now. There's no way. It's all right. Boom! <laughs> the double kill. Let's go. Kaboom. I will definitely be playing this. I will definitely be playing this game during its life cycle. It's so sick. It's crazy. I'm actually having fun with the content. <laughs> Yo! Yo, you're the little motherfucker in the corner. Dude, if he didn't have black jacket. Oh, the sliding kill. Dude, that's so crazy looking. I should have did the body shield. I don't know why I didn't do it. We're not gonna make it. Yep. Yeah, GG. Hard. How good was this guy doing? Oh my goodness. Dude, if only he got that last kill, that would have been a clean clip. Here's what I'll say. This is amazing. <laughs> I haven't had a single issue with this game so far besides like the typical crash here and there because it's a beta. But so far, I'm loving this. Uh, 10 out of 10. <laughs> this is uh, actually, like, a legitimate 10 out of 10. This is fantastic. Congrats, Treyarch. You made an amazing game. 
I can't wait to actually play this on launch. As always, stay positive, have confidence, utilize your passion, believe in yourself, and be yourself. See ya!